Okay, I've got the F-22 version 2 here from RC Powers. I have the NTM 2700 uh, prop drive here with a 6x4. And I've got the uh, Boxerman 84 thrust vectoring motor mount. So I have the two axis rudder and elevator. Uh, I'm running on a three cell right now. And um, I've got gyro stabilization on the uh, yaw for the motor mount. And also uh, for the uh, ailerons or elevons, I have a gyro. So I've got link controls. I've got your, my elevators and ailerons linked. Then the thrust vectoring. And uh, no standalone rudders, just a thrust vectoring rudder. So let's see how it flies. <laughs> So let's try a loop without thrust vectoring. Okay, that was without thrust vectoring. Let's turn the thrust vectoring on. You got a lot more agility. Okay, let's try a, uh, a, a rudder or a flat spin here with the... Uh, Unlimited vertical performance with that 2700 kV prop drive. Got insane power. So there's some upside down flying here. Try another flat spin here. Try some high alpha with the uh, thrust vectoring uh, motor. And the gyros keep it nice and aligned, or uh, keep the plane from wobbling at all. And I don't even have spoiler on, and uh, it's acting like it, uh, it's like, acting like it does in the high alpha there. Okay, and I'm going to try it with a 4-cell. This is a Rhino 2250 or 2150 30C 4-cell. And again, I'm running the uh, prop drive 2700 kV with a 6x4. So let's see uh, how much more power we get.
see how much power or how fast we can get this thing to go. Pretty good, that was without thrust vectoring. So let's bring it around again and do it with thrust vectoring. You can see it's way more maneuverable. 